In 1983, when Bill Ramsey was nine years old, he went to a cemetery to play hide-and-seek with his friends. Suddenly, he disappeared, and despite extensive searching, he couldn't be found. Additionally, a dense fog rolled in, prompting everyone to leave the area and inform Bill's parents. Bill's parents quickly reported his disappearance to the police and gathered a group of people to search the cemetery. However, the cemetery had been abandoned for years, overgrown with weeds, and filled with numerous underground passages, making the search for a missing child extremely challenging. After three days of fruitless searching, and coincidentally, three days of foggy weather, just as everyone was about to give up, a police officer spotted a wolf emerging from the fog. The officer immediately shot at the wolf which fell to the ground. Upon closer inspection, they discovered that it was not a wolf but the missing Bill. The, the most miraculous aspect was that Bill, despite being shot, miraculously only suffered a graze from the bullet and had no major injuries. After resting in the hospital for a few days, Bill was discharged, and his life returned to normal without any notable changes. On another evening, Bill and his family, along with their friends, were watching a war movie at home. When the movie depicted soldiers being gruesomely blown apart, Bill suddenly felt dizzy, his body temperature dropped rapidly, and his face started to change. According to Bill's parents, his eyes turned yellow, his mouth revealed fangs, and he stared intensely at everyone in the room, resembling a legendary werewolf or vampire. He then began to rampage, destroying the fence like an uncontrollable beast. After their friends left, Bill started to bite and chew on objects around him. Bill's father attempted to restrain him but ended up being bitten, with a chunk of flesh from his arm ripped off and savored by Bill. Eventually, his father managed to knock him unconscious and took him to the hospital. However, when they arrived at the hospital, Bill had returned to his normal state, both mentally and physically. Years passed, and Bill didn't experience any further episodes of transformation until one day in December 1983. While driving home, he collided with a lamppost, losing consciousness. When he woke up, he found himself in a hospital bed. Due to excessive blood loss, when the medical staff tried to administer a blood transfusion, he once again transformed into a werewolf, biting one of the healthcare workers. Chaos ensued as the staff sought assistance from the security guards and provided emergency treatment while Bill managed to escape the ward. Despite extensive searches, Bill couldn't be found, until eerie gasping sounds were heard from the ceiling. Looking up, they discovered a transformed figure of Bill on the ceiling, drooling and staring at everyone. Notably, the hospital ceiling was extremely high, making it impossible for a person to climb up under normal circumstances. The staff shot Bill with a tranquilizer, causing him to fall into a deep sleep. When he woke up again, he had returned to his normal state. This bizarre series of events reached the attention of the Warrens, who invited John Zaffies, a British paranormal investigator, to visit Bill Ramsey and his wife. After gathering information, the Warrens believed that Bill was possessed by an evil spirit with immense power, causing him to change his appearance.